This is Intermission, the summer festival show that fills you in on the best of the best of the best outside of festival grounds. Whether you're trying to kill time, experience the big city like a local, or you were just unlucky enough to miss out on a ticket, this video's for you. What's up, internet? It's that time of the year again, New York City's Governor's Ball. It's always one of the highlights of festival season, and for good reason, it's basically the biggest party of the summer. This city is generally one of the best places in the entire world to eat. If you're looking to line your stomach while enjoying great music, stop by Dirty French on the Lower East Side. You'll find copious amounts of drinks, Parisian crepes, live jazz bands, and a staff of servers all rocking basketball sneakers. If New York pizza is more your speed, you'll have a hard time finding a better pie in town than at Brooklyn's iconic Roberta's. This legendary joint features super hip neo-neapolitan pies. It's open super late, so if you're in Brooklyn after the show, you can still swing by. You may have heard that New Yorkers like to drink a lot, and yeah, we kinda do. Union Pool in Brooklyn has a reputation for being a fun place to drink and uh, how should I say this? We're all adults here, right? Plus they even have live music on the weekends. Good luck people and wear protection. If you've had your fill of food and drink and would rather do something a little semi-active, New York is there for you. We do do stuff besides going to restaurants and bars, I swear. You came to New York to see music. Gumball actually has a slew of after dark shows that run when the festival ends. There are actually some pretty big names out there, like the Japanroids playing Brooklyn's Elsewhere Hall on Friday night and the Regrets headline The Knitting Factory on Sunday night. But if you'd rather see some smooth jazz and pair it with a nightcap, Manhattan's iconic small jazz club always has late night shows on the weekend. Let me tell you, jet skiing on the Hudson River with a prime view of the New York skyline, pretty much the most cinematic thing you can do aside from kissing Bruce Willis. And guess what? You can actually do the jet skiing thing. Jetty jumpers have a questionable name, but they will take you on a scenic three hour tour around the Statue of Liberty and back again, all aboard a high powered personal jet ski. With all that in mind, just remember one thing, in New York, it's damn hard to have a bad time. Just walk around, meet people, and follow your gut. That's it for me. Intermission was brought to you by Hotels.com. Book your stay today.